Hi everyone, it's Rachel. It's the end of the month and you know what that means. It's time for my monthly empties and favorites. And this month I have a lot of empties. Like look at this basket, it's huge. Let's start with some products I have consistently used up and repurchased multiple times. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about them because I have already in the past. If you're interested, I'm gonna link a playlist above with all my monthly empties and favorites videos. That includes the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Lotion, another value size tub used up, the Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle Body Wash, use up this and love it so much, and another Crest 3D White Toothpaste in Arctic Fresh. Those three products are like constant favorites, repurchases that I use all the time. If you want to learn more about them, click the card above. Next we have the Matrix of Biolage Volume Bloom Shampoo. Oh my god, this shampoo was sitting in my shower for months. <laughs> for months, upside down, because I was trying to get every last bit out and it finally, finally, finally used it up this month. So. Um, to be honest, I don't remember why I picked this up. I think I was just trying out different shampoos and because I have fine hair, I went for something with volume. I think it was fine. I don't know if I repurchased. I'm trying out another shampoo right now from Pureology and then I'm thinking of trying an Asian, like a Japanese or Asian beauty shampoo after. So I don't think I'll be repurchasing this anytime soon. Not that there's anything wrong with it. I'm just trying, I'm just testing out other ones. This is La Roche-Posay Tolerane Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. I actually repurchased this yesterday. So I bought this um, because I was looking for a like gentle hydrating cleanser that wasn't gonna break the bank. And I came across this on some like, probably like TikTok dermal, derm dermatologist why is that so hard to say tiktok dermatologist recommendations and i liked it i liked it enough that i literally just repurchased it yesterday i think it is good it's a good cleanser especially for dry skin i actually bought another one which i'll talk about in a hits and misses video i tried out this japanese face wash and it was just way too dry. It would just leave my skin super like squeaky clean and dried. So I went back to this and yeah, I really like it. I think I'll repurchase it. Um, yeah, I have nothing else to say. It worked really well. And I believe if you have oily skin, they have like another formulation in this line for oily skin too. So highly recommend. Next we have the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. So I think I've been using this for years at this point now. This is my go-to night moisturizer. Both me and my boyfriend use this at night and love the little like pump mechanism to keep all the air out. Um, it looks kind of what? <laughs> it works really well for me. I've repurchased this countless times. I actually tried the Skin Fix one recently to see if it would replace this, and it did not. So I'm back on this train. Love this go to night moisturizer. It is very pricey though, so I only. I pretty much stock up on these whenever Sephora has sales and then I just buy enough to like last me until the next sale. So I don't have to pay full price for these. So that's my tip. Next we have the IGK Beach Club Volumizing Texture Spray. I remember hearing about this like years ago when IGK first came out, like all the YouTubers raving about it. And I kind of got reintroduced to this by a makeup artist who liked to use it for like that texture in hair so I picked up the mini size to try it out because I was like styling my hair more um I thought it was fine I currently am testing out a different one that I picked up during the Sephora sale I feel like this like had a lot of hype and then it suddenly then it died down so Maybe it was just type. I'm just trying to see if there's anything else out there that's better, but it was all right. This is the May Love the Hydrator. So it's essentially their like hyaluronic acid serum. 
I got this when I bought a bunch of like May Love stuffed products to try out and I think it was fine. It worked okay. It hydrated my skin but to be honest like I don't think it did any better than the ordinary hyaluronic acids which I was using so I did not repurchase this because it was like I think it's like $25 and the ordinary ones like $8 and I just didn't really feel like there's a difference between them. If anything, I actually like the ordinary one better. So this was not a repurchase for me. The next one is actually my boyfriend's, which is the Belief the True Cream Aqua Bomb in the mini size. I just love the little like whale, oh, the whale on it. So he loved this from like the first time he started using this and we already repurchased um, both the mini and the jumbo during the Sephora sale. So loves it a lot. It's like this like jelly texture and it's really lightweight but also super hydrating. And he says it smells like Sprite if you're into that. This one took forever to finish up. Like seriously, this is the Fresh Kombucha Facial Treatment Essence. And I, and this is like the eight ounce bottle so it's like massive it took me forever to go through this and to be honest like I really liked it at first I actually bought the mini one to try out and then like liked it so much I bought this value size but I don't know I'm just not as into it anymore like it says anti-pollution smooths and boosts luminosity I feel like I've used other essences that are better. So it was not a repurchase for me. I'm currently testing out the Laneige Cream Skin 2-in-1. And then I think if I... And then after that, I might be going back to a Japanese one I used to really like. But I don't know. It felt a little overpriced, to be honest. But yeah, it... I was so happy when I finished this. I was like just waiting for the day I finished this like giant bottle. So we have the Paul's Choice BHA and then a Shiseido sunscreen. So both of these are like mini Sephora samples I got. Paul's Choice used before multiple times. I feel like this is always just good to have in your like skincare stash or collection just in case you need it. Especially if you get like the sebaceous, oops. If you get like sebaceous filaments, I feel like this is good to just like use every once in a while when you feel like really congested. I just got this to use as a travel sunscreen and it worked well. It like was that like milky texture that a lot of, that a lot of Asian sunscreens are like. It did have like a strong fragrance scent that I didn't love as much, but I wouldn't repurchase it because I just prefer to use like the Japanese drugstore ones over the Shiseido ones because like those are half the price and I kind of like that texture more. This is the Star Face Lift Off Pore Strips and oh my gosh the packaging is so cute and adorable and I wanted to love them but they were not very good. <laughs> um, these are basically like their version of a Biore pore strips and I used all eight strips in here and they all did not work out very well. Um, first of all, I felt like they didn't have those like notches cut out so it was like hard to shape on your nose so I eventually like cut them out myself. But also they just did not stick well and did not pull out the gunk very well. So the packaging is super cute but would not recommend buying these. This is Selux, I think. Basically, it's like the exfoliating towel. Is that what they call them? I'm trying to see. I don't know, but it's basically like a exfoliating towel that I use all the time. And my boyfriend thinks it is incredibly rough and calls it sandpaper. But I really like it because I like to make sure I'm constantly exfoliating my body, getting rid of the dead skin. And like... I'm very prone to like ingrowns and dry skin, dry flaky skin, so I like to like constantly do that to make sure I'm getting rid of it. Those are all my empties. Unfortunately, there was no makeup. I feel like I'm like so close to finishing some of my makeup products. Like it's like this shampoo basically, like how I had it like turned over for like months and it 
was like hanging on by a thread. So hopefully it's coming soon and let's move on to my favorites. I feel like I always struggle with favorites because to me I feel like I really really need to like something for it to become a favorite so I feel like my favorites are always kind of like very curated but I do have three things to share with you guys this month. The first thing is the In Beauty Project Lip Oil in Glaze Number 1 which is the candy apple and oh my gosh so I never I never got the Dior lip oil like I definitely bought into the TikTok hype but like I just never pulled the trigger because it's like it's like almost $40 for essentially like really sticky lip gloss in a way during the Sephora sale as I tried out because I could get a discount and it's like $15 normally and oh my gosh the first time I used it I loved it first of all it smells so good. So back in like junior high, high school, like, you know, Bath and Body Works era, like my favorite scent was Country Apple. So it kind of reminds me of that, but also like kind of like strawberry candy. It's like this mix between like candy apple and like st candy strawberry. It smells so good. And it has this like giant doe foot that everyone talks about and I just like this like nice sheer red tint I'm wearing it today oh maybe I'll put it on it just smells so good when you're applying it and it just gives you like these like juicy plump looking lips without being like overtly glossy or sticky. I personally don't like a super glossy lip so I do try to take out a lot of the oil. I did a lot of the product before I put on my lips but highly recommend. My next favorite is kind of random but it is a wide tooth comb. I don't even know if you can see it. So I haven't used a comb in like ages and years decades maybe before i had this after i washed my hair i would like put in product and then because i didn't because my hair is like really fine and thin i sometimes don't brush it out because i'm just afraid of all the breakage and it was getting really really frizzy so i kind of just decided to go back to getting like a wide tooth comb to kind of help with that and it really has. So now after I shower, I put in all my product, I just go through it with this comb and like it has made a huge difference. Like, I mean, this is gonna sound, I feel like you guys are gonna judge me, but I definitely like comb my hair more because I felt like, I feel like because of how wide these like teeth are, um, it's easier to like get through all the tangles and there's less breakage. So I've been really enjoying this and I think it was only like five, six dollars from Amazon. Um, but mostly I really enjoy it for when my hair is wet because I am very like, very like careful about my hair because I don't have very much and it's like very thin too. And then my last favorite I've kind of been using for the last month or so is actually a like waiver tool. This is from insert name here. I think it's called their waiver. I forgot. I got out Ulta um, and it is this beautiful pink and white color and I've been using this to style my hair for like the last I don't know how many videos but pretty much if you see my hair like this it's with this. Um, I've always been someone who really likes like the wave and curl look but sucks at it and this has been really helpful for me. Um, it also comes with a glove to protect yourself but I've just been finding I've been really liking this for like this more like I guess more like beachy relaxed look because I feel like sometimes when you do like curls with a traditional curling iron it can kind of look more like it's just a little more glam versus I kind of want something that's more beachy and effortless. So this has been another favorite this month. And those are all my empties and favorites for the month of April. 
Have you guys tried any of the products I mentioned? Have you tried any of the other in Beauty Project lip oils? That is what I'm really, really curious about. If you had, leave a comment below telling me which one's your favorite, which flavor should I try next? Should I get them all because they have this like cute little set? Uh, I don't know, maybe I will, maybe I won't. I kind of have a lot of makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you have an amazing day. I'll see you next week with a brand new video. Bye guys!